Hey everyone, my name is Kendall Ito from the companies with Soft Power and Wild Goose Dreams, and welcome to the Brave New Shakespeare Challenge from the Public Theater, our home in love. Uh, today we have an excerpt from the book of Sir Thomas More, Act 2, Scene 4, and I want to encourage you all to take away this piece for yourself to create something. Uh, it can be anywhere from music, poetry, dance, um, singing, movement, whatever way that you feel inclined to and whatever way that inspires you. Uh, create something from this for yourself. And I can't wait to see what you come up with. So here we go. Sir Thomas More. Uh, when I first read this passage, I immediately thought about my family and uh, my great-grandparents who immigrated over here from Japan in the early 1900s to take up farming, come from a farming family. And uh, I thought about my uh, great-grandparents and my grandparents who were incarcerated in the World War II Japanese internment camps. And I thought about the moment when they got to leave and the stories my grandparents told me when they got to go home for the first time and how when they returned there were messages left on their driveways in red paint saying go home Japs go home Japs. And to those people who wrote those messages on my grandparents' driveways, I say this to you. Grant them removed, and grant that this your noise hath chid down all the majesty of England. Imagine that you see the wretched strangers, their babies at their backs, and their poor luggage plodding to the ports and coasts for transportation, and that you sit as kings in your desires, authority quite silent by your brawl, and you and rough of your opinions clothed. What have you got? I'll tell you, you had taught how insolence and strong hands should prevail, how order should be quelled, and by this pattern, not one of you should live an aged man for other ruffians as their fancies wrought with self-same hands, self-reasons, and self-right would shark on you. And men like ravenous fishes would feed on one another. You'll put down strangers. Kill them. Cut their throats. Possess their houses. And lead the majesty of law in line to slip him like a hound. Say now the king should so much come too short of your great trespass as but to banish you. Whither would you go? What country, by the nature of your error, should give you harbor? Go you to France or Flanders, to any German province, to Spain or Portugal? Nay, anywhere that not adheres to England. Why, you must needs be strangers. Would you be pleased to find a nation of such barbarous temper that breaking out in hideous violence would not afford you an abode on earth? What their detested knives against your throats spurn you like dogs, and like as if God owed not nor made not you? What would you think to be thus used? This is the stranger's case, and this your mountainish inhumanity. Sir Thomas More, we love a little drama. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Go out and create something with this, something beautiful, I hope. Uh, take care, spread love support to one another uh special thanks to healthcare practitioners people working at the front lines um essential workers wash your hands six feet apart love you all stay safe